including, I th think it might be Shinzo. I don't think he's in there yet. Got a couple to move up. Nadal's one of them. Uh, not sure. Might be Cylinder, in fact. Yeah, Cylinder. And then Nadal. Group one. What a race. The Golden Rose for three-year-olds worth a million dollars, but a lot more at stake for these stallions. Here's Darren Flindell. Golden Rose. Ready to jump. The filly drawn the fence, Charmstone. Racing now. Cylinder began brilliantly. Landed a half length in front out of the gates. Butch Cassidy there. Snap back going forward and Moravia as well. Then the Philly Charmstone pushing through on the inside of NCAP. Further back to Militarise who settles midfield on the inside of Don Corleone. A little bit deep out there is King Colorado together with General Salute who's trying to go around the field improving its spot. Nadal down to the fence and Shinzo's been taken back to last. It's snap back at odds showing the way a half on Butch Cassidy. Cassidy, Moravia takes the sit in third, a half the outside to end cap well positioned, two lengths to the Philly Charmstone, uh, Cylinder after the good start, couldn't cross them and now Cylinder's caught three wide on the outside of Don Corleone, further back than a militarised General Salute, King Colorado well back, together with Nadal the fence and Shinzo will have to come wider, snap back leads at the 500 metres from Butch Cassidy, end cap pulling three wide, then Charmstone sliding into fourth, further back to Cylinder with a back to follow, uh, Moravia trying to come off heels at the 350 now they're stretched across the track snap back joined by Butch Cassidy and in cap cylinder starting to hit top gear Moravia hasn't got much room nor Charmstone end cap hits a narrow lead at the 150 end cap from Butch Cassidy cylinder hitting the line hard end cap cylinder militarized late oh barnstorming finished by militarized the late attack diving and I think he got there in the golden rose from cylinder and in cap Oh, followed by Butch Cassidy, Moravia, King Colorado, Shinzo, further back to Nadal, Don Corleone, snap back and general salute, Joe Marrera, let the Dundee cult rip and he's bombed them late to win the Golden Rose. What a finish, militarise, has he won his third group one, you bet he has, right over the top of them, Joe Marrera. Gets the SOS call from Chris Waller and the team to come down under and reunite with this dual Group 1 winner. So a golden rose is now added to his sires and champagne victories. The Chris Waller juggernaut just keeps rolling along. That is Group 1 win number 151. His third golden rose to go alongside two other beautiful colts, the Autumn Sun and Zoo star. And Jay Marrera, his seventh Group 1 win in Australia. What a performance. Wait till he gets a mile. He's going to be even better, but he savaged the line. I don't know whether he would have won without the blinkers. I think that was a master stroke putting him on. End cap was perfectly ridden there by young Gibbons. He looked all over a winner, straightening up when he had a lot to offer. And, oh, it's close. Maybe he just held second, but Cylinder got close with him with a bob on the line there. Butch Cassidy's run a ripper, and that filly had no luck down the straight charm zone.